Okay, let's start. Good morning. Welcome. And we're starting uh, lying down. Your choice, either Makarasana on your belly with the forearms stacked and forehead on the stacked forearms. If you are really uncomfortable on your belly, lie down on your back in Shavasana. And if you have a weight bag, have it uh, right next to you, please. If you don't have a weight bag, that's okay. It can be done without it. It's just a little bit more uh, helpful with a weight bag. Again, if you are just joining us, uh, if you have a weight bag anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds, it can be anything. Please uh, prepare a weight bag. And again, if you do not have any, that's okay too. All right, so lying down either in crocodile or in Shavasana. Close your eyes. And start your centering and establishing the breath. So in the beginning, we do not want to change the breath. Just notice it. Notice how it feels to be in the body right now. Without judgment, whatever is going on, we'll work with that. And relax, relax, relax your body. Try to relax your mind. Meaning, whatever is on your mind, set it aside. Take it and set it aside right next to you. It will be there for you when we finish. Right. And now, let's start a gentle breathing exercise wherever you are. Start deepening your breath both inhalation and exhalation, slow it down. If you want to use a count for your breath, you can. For instance, five second inhalation and five second exhalation or whatever count works for you. And do it without strain. Okay, start squeezing your abdominals in on every exhalation. Let your lungs expand on the inhalation. Okay, just one more breath like that. Deep, slow inhalation. And then a complete exhalation, squeezing the belly towards the spine. And then release the effort. And if you are at Makarasana, the crocodile pose, push back into child's pose. And if you're on your back, hug the knees into the chest. <coughs> Either child's pose. or on your back with knees into the chest. Just a few resting breaths here. Okay, and now everybody please come onto your back and extend the legs away from you. If that um, brings any kind of unpleasantness uh, or um, any kind of unpleasant sensation to your lower back, feel free to have your knees bent any degree. All right. And now we're going to grab our weight bag. 
and place it right over the belly button. So it's below, uh, just below your lower ribs. And whenever you're ready, start your slow, deep breaths. If you do not have a weight bag, you can uh, place your hands on your belly and maybe create a little bit of a resistance here. So remember, you are moving your weight or your hands just by breathing. You're not uh, using any muscular effort in this area. Slow, deep breaths, strengthening the diaphragm. And while you're working on that, I would like to read you this uh, passage. This is a Vishoka meditation book that um, I'm studying. And um, this is something about the breathing. So continue your slow, deep breath with the sandbag. The problem is that we have become accustomed to sitting positions that restrict the movement of the diaphragm. When we sink into couches, chairs, and car seats, we reduce the space in the abdominal area and restrict the movement of the diaphragm. This in turn reduces the contraction and expansion of the lungs. The volume of our inhalation and exhalation declines while our demand for oxygen remains the same. To meet this demand, we resort to chest breathing, which stresses our lungs, heart, and liver, because a third or more of the lower lung has no chance to expand. Chest breathing is one of the leading causes of stress and chronic fatigue. Okay, now you can take the um, weight bag off. But remain in the same position and take a few relaxed breaths and just notice how it feels to breathe after the weight, uh, the training. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now bend your knees, please if you haven't already, and take your feet to the sides of the mat. Like this. And just take your arms out of the way. Feel your lower back on the ground. Take a deep inhalation here, slow. And then on the exhalation, slowly lower the knees to one side. Inhale back to center and exhale to the other side. Repeat it a couple more times with the breath, timing the movement with the breath, maybe closing your eyes. One more time to each side. And then roll over to one side and come into a comfortable seated position for our upper body stretches. Okay, you can sit on your heels or you can sit cross-legged. Just wherever you are, uh, this needs to be a symmetrical seated position, okay? All right, all right, so wherever you are, Engage the abdominals lightly, and now pull up the um, pelvic floor just easily, gently, and hold that, okay? Now release the fingertips to the sides. Inhale, bring the arms up, and exhale. Side bend to the left, and bring the right hand down. Then on the next inhalation, we're rising up again, reaching up, and then exhale, right hand down, and then left hand down. Inhale, back up, and repeat. A 
let's do one more to each side inhale reach up look up at your fingertips and then on the exhalation float the arms down okay. now we're coming to all fours okay find your tabletop please wrists aligned underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hip joints knees and feet a little bit apart and hands about shoulder distance apart let's start with finding neutral spine abdominals in neck in line with the rest of the spine okay all right on the inhalation extend the right leg back now see if when you did that see if your uh, center lowered to the mat so bring it up bring the ribs away from the floor okay you can stay right here if this is enough this is for st spinal stabilization you can choose to extend the left arm forward creating length about three breaths okay and now let's start moving here again you can only do the leg or both arm and leg on the exhalation bring the elbow and knee together underneath you inhale re-extend four more times exhale inhale squeeze the belly on the exhalation so repeating this five times and then bringing the knee and the hand down one breath here again check on the uh, on your spine neutral spine and on the next inhalation left leg extends maybe right arm extends uh -huh. stabilize yourself pull the belly in lift the ribs away from the mat three breaths and now connect your elbow and the knee or just bring the knee into the chest on the exhalation five times with the breath And then after the fifth time, re-extend, elongate, and then bring everything down. And whenever you're ready, start your rolling cat cows. So inhaling, arching the back, bring the shoulder blades into uh, the body towards the spine. And then on the exhalation, round the back and push the buttocks to the heels. Inhale, come back up exhale roll back okay and let's push back into child's pose take your knees apart big toes together arms stretched over the head forehead down keep the elbows away from the floor okay let's come to uh, tabletop okay 
So now we're going to alternate between uh, child's pose, um, tabletop, down dog, and standing on the knees. So feel free to exclude um, whatever position doesn't work for you. Just keep moving and alternating between those. So let's inhale here, arch the back. Then exhale, push back into child's. Inhale, come up, stand on your knees, reach up. Exhale, back to child's. Inhale, all fours. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, bring the knees down, arch the back. Exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, come up to all fours, arch the back, lift the chin. Exhale, child. Inhale, come up, stand on the knees, reach up. And exhale, back to child. Inhale, tabletop, arch the back. And exhale, tuck the toes, push back into downward dog. And again, one more time. Inhale, knees down, arch the back. Exhale, child. Inhale, come up. Exhale, child. Inhale, kneeling, rise up. Exhale, back to child. Inhale, arching the back, coming to tabletop. And exhale, down dog. And this time we're staying in downward dog. You can bend the knees as much as you need to here. Try to elongate uh, your spine and the arms, the shoulders. And also reach the sit bones up, but don't over arch the back. So notice if your back um, is, uh, has a sway in it, and to counter that, engage your abdominals. Okay, and now take a few breaths, strongly pulling the um, belly towards the spine on the exhalation. Anywhere between three to five breaths like that. Okay, good. And bring the knees down. So you're back in tabletop and step the right foot forward for lunges. Okay. I'm going to use the block to support my hands. You can, if you wish, if you have them. But you can also um, bring the fingertips to the floor. Okay. So let's find our low lunge here. What we don't want is we do not want to have the uh, front knee going ahead of the ankle. So try to have the right shin vertical. Pressing the hips down, shoulders down, expansion in the chest. Okay, and now we're gonna start moving with the breath. Inhaling here in lunge, and then on the exhalation, straightening the right knee, folding over the right leg. On the inhalation, coming back to lunge. Again. And then next time you're folded over the outstretched right leg, we're gonna stay here, breathe. Okay. On the inhalation, rolling back to lunge. 
Okay, let's do some uh, twists here. Uh, if you're using your blocks, you can bring your um, block underneath your left hand closer to the right uh, leg. Mm -hmm. And then again, on the inhalation, extend the spine. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. And you can choose to keep your right hand on the body or if it works for you, if it adds to the pose, if it adds to the expansion here, use your right arm in whatever way. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's change sides. Bring your right hand down on the inside of your right leg and twist to the right, open side twist. And again, see what you can do with your left arm to create more freedom, more space in the body, more expansion. Good, and let's bring the left hand down. And we'll take the right knee down, one breath here in tabletop. And then stepping the left foot forward, finding your lunge on this side. And then when you're ready, start moving with the breath, inhaling, exhaling. And four more times. Keep your belly toned. And if I'm not mistaken, this will be the fifth time. So this time we're staying over the um, left leg, stretching the back of the left leg and the lower back. And this is adjustable, so you can um, bring slight bend to your left knee if it's too much stretch. Just try to keep the belly engaged. Okay, on the inhalation, bend the left knee, mm -hmm. and let's come to our lunge. So your right hand on the block, on the floor, next to your, well, more like underneath your right shoulders, okay. And then on the exhalation, twist to your left, and see what you want to do with your left arm. And let's switch sides. Expansion. Breathe. And then come back. Good. And take your left knee back. All right, come to tabletop. And from here, we're coming to standing. So take one foot forward and then the other and come up to standing. Okay. And for this next one, if you have a block, please grab your block. and place it in between the sides at whatever um, side of the block that's comfortable for you. It can be, that's probably the um, narrowest width, width is probably the best for this one, but you can also um, place it here like that. 
second winds. All right. Okay. Let's just find uh, our stability and just feel it. Feel it. Take your mountain pose here, squeezing the block in between the thighs lightly. So your buttocks are gently engaged, abdominals in, lightly squeezing the block with your thighs. Drop the shoulders, lift the chest. Okay. Inhale, bring the arms out through the sides. Exhale, start sitting down into your chair, squeezing the block. And then continue your exhalation, folding forward. Finish the exhale. And then as you start your inhale, bend the knees. Squeeze the block, come up into the chair. And continue rising up, reaching up. And then exhale, roll the arms down. So that's one round. Continue at your own pace. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Okay, do it three more times on your own. Mm -hmm. And after five repetitions of your dynamic chair, take your chair pose. I'm not sure where you are, but if you're ready, take your chair pose, uh -huh. engage the abdominals, reach the arms up. You also have a choice of excluding the shoulders. You can bring the arms out or forward. And we're staying for five breaths. Tuck the tailbone in. And on the next inhalation, come up, reach up, look up, and exhale, roll the arms down. Very good. Can take the block out for now, shake off the legs. Okay, let's take the feet apart. So place your feet apart for our uh, standing open hip poses. So you probably know by now how much distance you need between your feet, but you can always adjust it later. Okay. Actually, we're going to start with, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to place the feet for not open hips, closed hips, sorry. So starting, in any case, starting with the feet parallel and then turn your right toes uh, to face the short side of the mat and then take and move your left foot a um, little bit to your left. So your hips are facing uh, your right foot mm -hmm. and your left foot is angled a little bit. Okay. All right, let's do a few rounds of dynamic warrior one. So starting with the hands on the hips and both legs straight. And then on the inhalation, bend the right knee, reach the arms up. And we're going to lean forward. And then on the exhalation, straighten the knee, bring the arms down. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, like this. Okay, lean forward, elongate, engage the abs, and we're holding. Okay. 
Okay, let's come down from here. So keep leaning over that left leg. Bring both hands down. Don't change the legs. Uh, you can take them a little bit farther apart, but keep standing on that railroad track. So from here, we're coming to a side bend. You can keep your right hand down on the uh, floor, or you can re uh, place your right elbow on the right leg, and then open into your side angle bend. Again, keeping that um, notion of expansion in mind. Mm -hmm. See if you can drop your hips a little bit lower. Good. Okay. Let's uh, bring both hands down on the mat. Just bend your knees as much as you need to for that. And then walk your hands over to the left, adjusting your feet so they're now parallel. And fold in between the feet. Okay, and then bending the knees, come up on the inhalation. Okay, let's take it to the other side. So feet wide apart, turn the left toes um, out to face the short side of the mat, and then you wanna take your right foot um, towards your, uh, the long side of the mat and square the hips to your left hips and left toes, left knee, same direction. Okay, arms down. And let's start coming in and out of warrior one with the breath. Inhale, exhale. Again. Two more times, see if you can bring your hips hip down a little bit lower each time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're holding, lean forward. Good, and then fold forward, bring both hands down. And without changing your feet, drop the hips down and take your own side angle bend. Left hand either on the floor next to the left leg or elbow on the thigh, chest open, and use your top arm to create more freedom and expansion. Good. And then bring your right hand down. And here I uh, invite you to either go through your vinyasa, step back into plank, and then lower down, chaturanga, cobra, or you can push directly into downward dog. So if you're choosing uh, to take a vinyasa so from plank, bend the elbows, come down. Inhale, back bend of your choice, cobra, upward facing dog, and then exhale, down dog. Or you can take the knees down, so this time our downward dog or whatever position you choose, it can be tabletop or child. Let's take a few resting breaths. Notice, observe yourself, let your breath calm down.
Okay, and now from wherever you are, come to standing again, please. Okay. Um, we're going to practice our warrior three. And uh, you have a choice. I'm going to show you uh, several stages of the pose. Feel free to stay at any stage. Okay. So you probably need to be facing the uh, short side of your mat. Okay. So let's take uh, the uh, left foot back. It's not a, uh, not your widest um, step back, but somewhere in the middle. Okay. And then come up uh, on your left toes. Start leaning over the right leg. I like to have a little bit of a bend when I start here. More room. Okay, so start leaning over that right leg. Uh -huh. Engage the abs, strong core. And you can stay right here. You can add the arms. So maybe this is enough. Maybe start lifting that uh, left leg behind you. Maybe you can extend the arms forward. I mean, or to the sides, maybe underneath the chest. So just keep that leg that's up in the air really strong so it doesn't pull you out of balance. Good. And then with control, bring that foot down. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Let's try that on the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back, come up on the right toes, slide bend to, I mean, I like to bend the knee uh, on the standing leg when I first come into the pose, but um, Eventually, the leg needs to be straight. Okay, tighten up the core. Come up on the toes. Like no weight at all on your right toes. Feel free to stay right here. Or maybe lifting that right leg behind you. Good. And then try to come out of the pose with as much control as possible. Good. Shake off the legs. Okay. Now again, I invite you to, we're going down to the mat. So feel free to take a vinyasa if you wish. Or just come down to tabletop. All right, let's strengthen the core a little bit. So here are the uh, variations. Bring your elbows down. You can have your forearms parallel or you can clasp the fingers. And then if you choose to uh, do plank on your knees, walk your knees back. And then from here, you will be lowering one hip to the ground and then the other. Or you can choose full plank on the elbows like that, tuck the tailbone in a little bit, and then exhale, dip the hips to one side, inhale center, exhale, dip the hips to the other side. A couple more times. Good. Come to center, bring the knees down, and come lie down on your belly. Um, just relax your arms and bring the forehead down. Rest. Mm 
Okay. Let's come up to um, Sphinx. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Firmly press the forearms and the hands into the mat. Elbows into the mat. Uh -huh. Shoulders away from the ears and reach the chest forward. And if you want to add a little bit more stretch to the front, front of the spine and the um, abdominal muscles, you can lift the elbows and come up into seal. Okay, lower down. <clears throat> Stack your forearms for your crocodile position again. Forehead on the stacked forearms. You can take your feet apart or together. Now let's shift the hips side to side. Okay. Now come to stillness in your crocodile, relax, relax the shoulders, the upper arms. Okay. Now for the next five breaths, you're going to squeeze the belly and lift the uh, pelvic floor on the exhalation strongly starting now And then release the effort after about five repetitions. And when you're ready, roll over onto your back. Let's bring the right knee into the chest and extend the left leg onto the mat. Uh, you, ha you do have an option of uh, having your left knee bent like that. Okay, now pull the legs away from each other. Uh -huh. Press the lower back into the ground. Lift the upper body. Head is neutral. Don't press the chin down. Don't throw the head back. Mm -hmm. Now, stay right here if you wish, or you can lift the left heel just, just off the ground. Uh -huh. Good. And then feel free to release the arms forward or keep holding on to your knee. And then the last stage, maybe you choose, you can choose to extend your right leg up. Squeeze the um, pubis towards the um, lower ribs. And both knees into the chest, lay the back down, one breath. And the other side, left knee stays into the chest, right leg extends onto the mat. Mm -hmm. Pull the legs away from each other. And lift the upper body. Now be aware of the connection of your lower back with the ground. Now lower belly in. Good. And then you can choose to lift the right heel just off the mat. Mm -hmm. Head neutral. 
maybe releasing your arms forward, maybe straightening the left leg. Squeeze, hold, breathe. Good. And release. Both knees into the chest, uh, but gently. Don't press the knees into the chest. Don't even use your arms. Just knees into the chest and then let the knees open to the sides. Just relax your the outside of the legs. Breathe. Good. And bring the feet down if you have a block. Now take your block and place it in between the thighs. Or if you do not have a block, that's perfectly okay. You can do it without the block. Okay, so place your feet for bridge. So your shins are vertical, arms down. And we're gonna do a few rounds of dynamic bridge, but we are gonna exclude the arms. So keep the arms just where they are, take them out of the way, and then on the inhalation, slowly peeling the spine off the ground, come up. And then on the exhalation, again, one vertebra at a time, lower the spine down. Repeat this at your own pace with the breath. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, rolling down. Squeeze the block. Good. And then come down, rest. You can actually grab a block and place it if you have it, uh, place it underneath your lower back and rest in the supported bridge or just back flat on the ground. Close your eyes, relax, breathe. Okay, if you have support under your back, take it out now and then roll over to one side and push yourself up. Okay, now take a comfortable seated position. You can sit on support, blanket, meditation cushion, whatever you like to use. Okay. All right, let's do a few rounds of Kapalabhati breathing to energize, replenish the body and the mind. So it's a sharp exhalation and a relaxed inhalation. We're going to do just one round of 11 at your own pace. So let me show you just to remind. And you're strongly pumping the belly as you do that. Actually, let's do a round of 18, not 11, but 18. One round of 18 at your own pace. If you're just learning this, uh, when people start learning this, it's usually a little bit slower. If you're proficient in that, go at your own pace. Okay, close your eyes. Keep the upper body in a good posture for this one. And pumping the belly, start. And after you're finished, three slow deep breaths. 
through the nose. All right, I hope everybody's finished with that. And uh, a few rounds of a variation of Nadi Shodhanam, the alternate nostril breathing. So in this variation, we're gonna do a very slow and deep inhalation on one side, and then a sharp, strong exhalation on the other side. So it's like this. First inhaling through, I'm, I'm gonna show you first, and then we'll start together. So uh, usually starts with inhaling through both nostrils and then closing the right and sharply exhaling through the left. And then slow inhalation right. And a sharp exhale left. Okay, so that's like that. So we're going to do three exhalations on one side and then switch. Inhale through both nostrils. Close right, exhale left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. And then three big breaths with both nostrils. Open your eyes and then come lie down on the back. Okay, if you have a strap or a scarf or a towel, anything, no, take your strap or if you are. Um, if you can easily reach your uh, big toe and sort of straighten the leg, of course you can keep the slight band, then you might not need the strap. Otherwise, wrap the strap around your left leg. And you can have your right knee bent or right leg extends to the sky. So, And then open the leg to the left. Right hand on the uh, right hip. Now, take your left leg up, either holding on to uh, with your um, hand, fingers to the toe or the strap. Okay, and then I'm going to turn around here, so like this. Okay, okay. Let's take the um, leg to the right, holding the strap with your uh, right hand, or your right fingers are holding your left toes. Okay. 
and then bend and straighten this knee a couple of times. Try to point your right toes up. So you create this internal rotation of the right thigh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then extend that right leg, internally rotate your right thigh, staying here. Okay, sorry, it kicked me off again. Okay, let's go to the other side. So wrap the strap around the right leg. Left leg either extended or left knee bent. Take your right leg out, left hand on the left hip. Left hip is staying down. Okay, let's bring the right leg back up and then over to the other side. And then bend and straighten the right knee. Now point the left toes up, internal rotation of the left thigh. Just slowly, do it slowly. About five times and then hold. And after about three breaths, bring it back up, pull it toward the chest, just a little bit here, and then release. Okay. So you're on your back, knees into the chest. Hold your hands on your knees and now make circles with your knees. And do not let go of your knees. Keep the hands on the knees. Mm -hmm. Bring your awareness to the back of the pelvis. And uh, imagine that your pelvis is like a bowl and you are rolling that the rim of the bowl on the floor. Good. And change the direction now. Okay, good. And now your choice, knees into the chest, you can lift and reach, nose to the knees. You can let your knees open to the sides. You can reach for your feet and um, open your legs into happy baby. And feel free to Gently rock side to side here. Okay. And now if you are moving, uh, now is time to stop the movement. Just pause here for a second, wherever you are, in whatever position you are, pause. Start finding your stillness, energetic stillness, intention of stillness. And then when you're ready, release your legs. 
bring the feet down and start preparing yourself for the relaxation. So take any comfortable relaxation position. Make yourself comfortable. You can use this releasing motions, gentle motions, maybe gently rolling your wrists a couple of times in different direction. Maybe um, moving your toes in and out a few times. Maybe a little movement in the shoulders. Finding more comfortable placement for your arms with the palms up if you're in Shavasana. Maybe a bolster under your knees, maybe support under your head. You can gently roll your head side to side. And then eventually let yourself settle into your relaxation position. Close your eyes, maybe place your eye pillow on your eyes. If you have a sandbag, you can choose to place your sandbag on your hips. So for grounding during the relaxation, we want the sandbag on the hips, not on the belly like we do for breath training, so you can breathe freely. Now take a deep breath in, and on the exhalation, let yourself relax. Let the back of your body melt into the ground. Relax your whole body from the crown of the head to the fingers and toes. Relax your face. Smile a little bit. Feel yourself firmly supported on the ground. Remind yourself that you are in a safe, supported space. So you can allow yourself to relax and let go just for a few moments giving your body and mind the opportunity to absorb and assimilate everything that we've done so far. And this also prepares you for the rest of your day. As you let your system process, absorb, and take in whatever you've created, in your practice so it, ca it can spread around inside your body and your mind and then you can take it into life with you breathe And now come back to your body and 
check if um, any tension has crept up somewhere in the, um, in your body your breathing actually and your mind too there's a tendency for that stuff to come back so we need to be aware of that so we can let it go relax Soften the belly, let it move with the breath. Right. In a few moments, feel free to stay in the relaxation as long as you need, if you're ready. Very soon we're going to come out of the relaxation, so bring your awareness back to the breath. Take a deeper breath. And then start waking yourself up. Small movements with your fingers and toes. And then hug your knees into the chest. Gently rock side to side. When you're ready, roll over to one side and take a breath or two on the side. And I will meet you in a comfortable seated position when you're ready. Hands to Anjali Mudra. And please join me in the peace invocation. One Om and then the peace invocation. <clears throat> Om. Shante, Shante, Shante. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste. <laughs>